Hello. Hi. <laughs> I can't. Come on. I just. All right. I locked her out of the car. She did. She wouldn't <laughs> let me in. She's like, nope. I can't. She looks ridiculous. I can't allow it. I know. But Cheers to Turkey Day. Cheers. Gobble gobble. Turkey Day is coming. It is. I'm so All right, I'm going to take them off so that one. Already? But do you like it? Okay, when we stop talking about Turkey Day. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, but there there was something else, but we'll come back to it. There's okay. a, I feel there's a lot. A right. flurry of activity. Okay. Um, let's when do start. your guests arrive? Uh, Tuesday. Claudia hosts Thanksgiving. Yes, uh, we are hosts, and, and we, um, and, but first we're going to New York. Yes. This weekend. F can I tell the funny story? Yeah. But it's not, let's do Thanksgiving first, and then I'm going to tell my story. Okay. Okay. Um, so what do we, we have to talk about things such as, tell us anything you want, tell us what you're grateful for, right. tell us what your favorite Thanksgiving dish is, mm -hmm. what is yours? My grandma's apple pie. Oh, okay, or just tell us that. Are you apple pie, pumpkin pie, mm -hmm. what's your deal? Which I do love pumpkin, but my grandma's apple pie is my favorite. Your favorite. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say I'm a big pumpkin pie girl. Mm -hmm. I love pumpkin pie with whipped cream, um, mm -hmm. and I like it when it's warm. Mm -hmm. And I also love stuffing. And I like turkey. Yes. And I, I just like it all. I was to say, I like everything. I like it I all, count? too. Yeah. Sweet potatoes. I mean, I like it all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take these off now because actually they're a little bit ruining my peripheral vision, oh. which is a little distracting. We can't have I don't that. know. I, there's a lot going on at Sonic, so I like to have my <laughs> peripheral vision. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Thanksgiving is great. We have, we're okay. not having that many people this okay. year, which is, uh, you know, some years it's big. We have right. 21 people. Some years but it's a smaller group. This year is a little bit of a smaller group, which okay. I'm... I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm ready to just Slower chill pace. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be nice. Um, how about you? I know. Well, we all know where you're going. Stop. I'm literally. You should be wearing Mickey ears while I'm think... wearing my. Oh, I should have brought my. You should have brought yours they so don't... that you could just show off a little more. I'm so excited. Yeah. I can hardly contain it. I wish okay. it was now. Oh no! All right, but be I mean, I'm happy to be here, mm -hmm. but I'm also really. She ready is to go. a lion like a rug. This one. I am happy. If to you be could here. be gone now, you'd be gone. Oh, for sure. All right, but <laughs> okay. you're gonna be president in a moment. Yes. Okay, let me tell you what's funny that happened to me the other day. And um, so, number one, my anniversary, my 19th wedding anniversary, was last week, and my. Uh, so I am so proud of myself because I. I'm getting my husband a gift that normally he would be in charge of doing this, mm -hmm. and I did it. And so um, we, I, we love the musical My Fair Lady. Mm -hmm. We're going to New York. It's on Broadway, mm -hmm. and so I say to myself, "Self, I'm going to get him the ultimate present. I'm going to get us tickets to go see it on Saturday night while awesome. we're there." Awesome. So good. So I come up with an entire scheme, as you can well imagine. Yes. It has, I have a clock, I cut out this thing, it says time flies when you're having fun, I have all of our photographs out from all the years of, you know, from our wedding, anyway, right. big thing. And I have in an envelope, uh, it's in an envelope and it's the tickets and it says 19, 17, 8, 4. So on the night, wait, celebrating 19 mm -hmm. on the 17th at 8, with four, meaning the four of us, my the, the kids, Matthew and Jack and I. And so I'd sitting there and then I'm all ready for dinner because we're gonna have a little celebration mm -hmm. at dinner. I bought a fun little treat for dessert. And then um, he says from the kitchen, hey Claudia, do you have an envelope? And I said, sure. But in my head I'm thinking, that's interesting, why? And uh, I say, what size? And he says, ah, you know, like, a letter size and I said sure it gave the same size but all of a sudden in my head I'm thinking oh my gosh this could be this could be <laughs> and so then he disappears and then he comes back and by the way I gave him the exact yellow envelope that I used to put his in and so he comes in and he puts a yellow envelope on the kitchen table and he looks at my yellow envelope and he's like what does that mean He's like, what's 17? Because it's our 19th anniversary. On. He said, what's 17? And I said, the 17th. He goes, what day is that? And I said, Saturday. And he said, you didn't. And I said, yes, I did. And I knew right then that, that he, he got the exact same thing for me that I got for him. I love that, though. Tickets to I mean, my fair not so lady. great that you both bought tickets, but kind of cute, too. <sighs> I know, it's so crazy. So, and of course, now don't you know that his are like 
better seats than mine. Well, that's because he's Richard and he probably called and bossed somebody around to give him the yeah, best seats. Yeah, anyway, fun. so it's fun. We're going to see it. I can't wait to tell you about it. That's awesome. It's going to be great. Super duper looking forward to it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we're going to be in New York. We're going to be in New York. The one thing I'll say is that we're going a week or two. Uh, we're actually going two weeks earlier than we normally go. So we're missing out on all the fun festivities, the tree, the right. everything. So that's kind of a bummer. I'll never do that again. But I was just kind of panicky to see my dad. So. Yeah. We're doing it. I'm glad you're going. Um, okay, so when we left off, tell people what we said last time. Yeah, so last week we decided that we were going to use the Car Chronicles between last week and the end of the year to walk people through the naming of their year. We do something called the Year of Projects. So instead of making a big list, list of resolutions. You never keep them. That you're never going to you know keep. Might, mm -hmm. You might accomplish one of a list of 20, nope. maybe. Uh, Spare yourself the, the feelings shame of guilt. And the, yes. Yeah. Uh, instead, we name our year something mm -hmm. and then just kind of set out as that is our intention for the year, just kind of welcoming that word or that phrase into our life. And so we decided to use Car Chronicles to walk you through the process that we use to name our year. And so last week, we kicked you off by having you think about one year from now, you your life would be more effective or your life would be better if you were more effective at blank. blank. Fill in the blank. And Claudia said... And I said... Okay, first of all, interruption. Sharon, if you're out there, pay attention. Oh, Sharon Hart Hampton. Yes, because she told Katie that after the first one, she already, she had knew. already named her year. No. Nope. She thinks she's been to this rodeo before. And I said, Sharon, nope. Go with Gotta the go through the whole process. Sharon, if you're out there, pay attention. Do not cheat, do not <sighs> skip steps. It do not pass go, do not click right. $200. You cannot skip steps. You're tempted to because you think you already know, but you right. don't know. Nope. So don't skip steps. Stick with us. All right. So when you asked me, I said, one year from now, I think I would be more effective if I had greater or better separation between my work mm -hmm. and my home. Mm -hmm. So now what? So now the question, that so step two of the process, once we answer that, is to ask yourself why... Would your life be more effective if you had separation between work and your home life? Mm -hmm. And so that is the question that she asked me. So you're asking yourself, why yes. would you be more effective at that thing one mm -hmm. year from now? So I've been thinking about this as I've been driving here, there, and everywhere. Mm -hmm. Why do I think I would be more effective if there was greater separation between my home and my work? And I think the answer to that question is because because I constantly feel like I'm in both places. When I'm at home, I feel like I'm at work. Mm -hmm. And when I'm at work, I feel like I'm at home. And in fact, I am because we work out literally. of my house. Yeah. So literally I walk out of my office into my kitchen or into some other space and there's a remnant of my work day right there. Right. And it is becoming a little unruly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. That's all I answer this week. So that's all you have to do is answer that question. Yeah. What is yours? Why would your life be more effective if you did that if thing? Blank. Yes. And so put that in the comment section mm -hmm. if you feel like it. If not, jot it down on a piece of paper. But do something with it because yes. we're going to build on it as the week we're goes gonna on. We're going to keep going. Keep yes. answering those questions. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I love so that. Monday, we're coming back at you yes. because I leave on Tuesday. Yes, and I um, I come back on Monday. You come back on right. Monday. We're going to be ships so passing in the night right, on Monday. Like an afternoon together. So we in are. that afternoon, we're going to come at you with the next leg of the process. That's right, because that's it for the whole week. And then we yeah. come back after Thanksgiving. Yes. Okay, um, what else? Anything else? Only thing I can think of is that um, on the way down here, we were having a discussion about sleep. And mm. I was saying that I wish that sleep was optional, mm. like playing, like a recreational sport, like tennis. Like right. if you feel like going out and playing tennis, you go. If you mm -hmm. want to go take a run, you do it. If you don't, you don't. Right. Right? I bet I wish sleep was that way. Mm. You were on, not. No, on I that. love sleep. Yeah, she was describing like loving getting in bed again. Oh yeah, I have like book, a whole thing. Like I get in. falling into sleep. Yes, I read the book. I don't know what she's I'm talking I'm reading about. as I start to fall asleep and then like I hit that prime point of like, okay, I'm going to fall asleep now. So then I turn off the light and pull the, <gasps> I mean, it's like, co it's a whole thing. Oh my gosh. I don't relate to Love any it. of that. None of that. Okay. One more question about sleep and then we're going to sign off because yes. we'll probably put them to sleep if we, yeah. Go on much longer. Um, yes. Okay. Anyway, uh, one more question. Yes. Cold pillow or warm pillow? Hmm. The pillow doesn't matter as much to me, so cold is fine. Whoa. Yeah. 
Yeah. I've got to have a cold pillow. I have multiple pillows on my bed yes. so that as they get, and they're out, like I, with the fan and the cold, so that as one gets too warm, I swap it out and I put a cold pillow. I do it all night long. I rotate my See, pillows. See, you can't relate to me climbing into bed and falling asleep. I can't relate to that one iota. You can't? All I care about Can is anybody that... out there relate to that? Do you know? Do you do that? There are crickets out there right now. There's no... Yeah, okay. Well, okay. But no. somebody else can relate to that. Surely somebody else swaps out their pillows so they always have a cold pillow. I'm seeing nothing. Okay. All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> I'm sure someone can Give me can some cold pillow that. love out there, people. I've never heard that before. You haven't? Oh my gosh, I rotate my pillow all night long. Somebody's going to tell me that there's an electronic pillow that you can get with a battery in interested. it or something. I'm not into it. I'm not, don't, don't bother telling Trust me that. Me. I'm not doing not it. I'm a slow adopter if I adopt at all. Yeah. Okay. Somebody else to comment. All right. No one's commenting. Yeah. Somebody else. Nope. People okay. are joining. Oh, not all right, that all right. people are commenting. Okay. Okay. All right. Should we go? Yes. All right. We miss you. I don't want to go yet. Right. I want to stay All right. So longer. we need to know. Yeah, what do the we answer, need to know? The answer to your question, yeah. if you feel like sharing it. If not, jot it down somewhere and then um, come we need back to know, next week. Okay, we need to know apple pie, pumpkin pie, or yes. what is your favorite holiday dish? Yes. We need to know cold pillow or not. Um, someone just commented, I turn my pillow over to the cool side. Yes, thank you. Have you. A, you have Who is that? Perry Ivy Roussel. Are you oh. related to Billy? Probably. I think that must be Tiffany or something. It's I not know. Tiffany. It's not? Okay. No. Well, whoever, hello, it's a relative thank you. Of Tiffany and Billy. Yes, thumbs up on that. Who can right. relate to the cool side of the pillow? I love that. Okay, so um, very nice all the way around. Yes. I love it. Okay. All right, so pillow, pie, pillow, pie, and. You're a project. Oh, three pillow, P's. pie, and project. <gasps> three P's. Pillow, See, with pie, that, project. We can sign. Can't get any better than yes. that. All right. One, two, three. Shining, Shining off. off. I was thinking of a P. I was trying to think of a P. I like P 